हेलो डियर टीचर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्नोलॉजी सो एज यू नो इन द टीचिंग प्रोफेशन यू ऑलवेज हैव टू मेक लेसन प्लान्स एंड लेसन प्लानिंग इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट गाइड्स हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू टीच सो टुडे आई हैव मेड दिस मैथ्स लेसन प्लान ऑन द टॉपिक रोमन न्यूमरल्स ओके दिस इज़ फॉर क्लास थ्री एंड फोर सो लेट्स प्रोसीड एंड आई होप यू लाइक इट एंड इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल ये डेंट प्लीज डू इट इट मीन्स अ लॉट टू मी Okay, let's get started. So, as you know, in the starting, we write the details like teacher's name. Okay, you'll write your name. Then we'll write class, which class you are teaching to. Third or fourth, you can use it for. And then we write the subject mathematics. I've made this lesson plan on Roman numerals, so we'll write the heading Roman numerals. Then we write date, and then the period in which we are teaching, and then the duration. It means how much time you're going to take to teach this lesson. So it will take approximately thirty-five minutes. Okay, because it's not. such a big topic okay then we write our general objectives okay next heading is general objectives so general objectives are related to the subject that we are teaching okay and it can be copied in every maths lesson plan okay first one is to increase students interest in learning mathematics second to enhance the thinking and reasoning ability of students third to help students use mathematical knowledge in their practical life food to help students to learn new mathematical concepts easily okay after general objectives in our lesson plan the next heading comes specific objectives okay so these are related to the topic that we are teaching and as the topic changes okay frequently so these also needs to be changed according to the topic okay so they cannot be copied and uh, these are basically the aims okay what are our aims to read uh, to teach that particular concept okay to students So first one I have written to introduce Roman numerals to students. Second to explain the rules related to Roman numerals. Third to help them identify Roman numerals in their practical life. Fourth to enable students to solve sums based on Roman numerals. Okay. After that next heading is teaching aids. It means what material do you need to teach the topic. Okay. So we we'll write chalk, duster, blackboard, pointer, chart, model, whatever you need you can write over here. Okay. After that next topic is previous knowledge assumed okay so students have previous knowledge about counting addition and subtraction of numbers then next setting is previous knowledge testing okay so we need to test their previous knowledge so here we make two columns in our lesson plan first is teachers activities and the other one is students activities so the teacher will ask the questions and the students will answer and the expected answers are written over here okay first question is do you know how to add and subtract numbers so there's a yes ma'am Second, we will ask, what do we get when we add eight to twelve? They will say we will get twenty. Okay. Then we will ask, do you know what are ordinal numbers? They will say yes. First, second, third. They have already studied. Okay. Then fourth, we will ask, do you know what are Roman numerals? So there would be no response. Okay, because that's a problematic question. That leads to the announcement of our topic. So next heading is announcement of the topic, and we will announce, well, students, today we will study about Roman numerals in detail. Okay. and we write the same thing in our lesson plan then next topic comes presentation okay now this is the actual and the main part okay of the lesson plan wherein we make four columns first is teaching point second teachers activities third is students activities and fourth is blackboard work okay you can make also a fifth column that is a teaching method okay you can write which which teaching method you are using whether you are using theory method or activity based method or experiment method okay whatever you are using you can write it over there and one more thing you can do uh, if you are uh, making a project on ba ed or dl ed or or of whatever subject okay uh, whatever subject you are making a lesson plan of what you can do is uh, you can write the blackboard work okay on a black piece of paper with a white pen okay that looks very realistic okay that would look like as if you are right you have written it on the board only that is for the project work because in daily use we don't do like that okay no, so first teaching point is what are roman numerals the teacher will explain the meaning of roman numerals okay she will say ancient romans introduced a different system of numeration called roman numerals what is students activity students will listen carefully and we will write the same definition on the blackboard okay we write the heading roman numerals and then we will write the definition after that next teaching point is basic symbols used in roman numerals so the teacher will explain the seven basic symbols used in roman numeral system by showing a chart and writing on the board okay so you should prepare a chart for this 
and the students will note down in their notebook so we'll do the blackboard work like i have done here okay now she'll also tell you write the roman numerals and then the hindu arabic system okay so uh, points to remember we will tell them uh, some points that they should know okay we will tell them the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 are generally used to form roman numbers okay then next point is the seven basic symbols used in roman numeral system are we will tell them these symbols are very basic ones okay which are repeated or subtracted okay for for addition next teaching point is rules for writing roman numerals so the teacher will explain the rules for writing roman numerals students will listen attentively and we will simultaneously do the blackboard work okay uh, the teacher will say repeating a roman numeral represents addition of that number okay when we repeat it it means addition numeral 1 and 10 is repeated only up to 3 times and b is never repeated okay like uh, One and one, it makes two. Okay, and this x represents ten, so ten plus ten is twenty. Okay. Now, second rule is if a smaller numeral is written after a larger numeral, then their values are added. Okay. If a smaller numeral पहले लिखा है, sorry, बाद में लिखा है larger numeral के जैसे कि in case of seven. Okay. So five and then one and one are written. So it means they have to be added, one and one. then we'll explain them the third rule if a smaller numeral is written before a larger numeral the opposite okay then their values are subtracted students will note down the important points and we'll give them the examples on the board and explain them okay after that what teaching point is addition and subtraction of roman numerals the teacher will ask the students to figure out the values of roman numbers and then add or subtract the numbers given on the board he or she will also give an example okay like i have written 3 plus 4 so they have to write the answer 7 okay this way they need to figure it out what are the values and then they have to solve so after that comes recapitulation in recapitulation we ask the question after finishing our uh, explanation okay or after teaching the concept so that uh, we get to know whether they have understood the concept really well or not okay or what can be done to explain them in a much better way okay first question is what are roman numerals second is what does repeating of roman numerals represent third what should we do if a smaller num numeral is written after a larger numeral okay then comes homework part first question is write in roman numerals and we'll write these numbers 5 3 7 10 and 4 then we'll ask them to solve these equations okay so this was my lesson plan i hope you all have liked it and if you have liked it then please give it a thumbs up because it takes a lot of effort and hard work to make these lesson plans for you because uh, i don't need them but i just make it for your help and uh, i hope you like it please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching